Muslim Brotherhood. Muslim Brotherhood. The Muslim Brotherhood. The Muslim Brotherhood. The Brotherhood. The Muslim Brotherhood. What is the Muslim Brotherhood? Fear mongers in the West see it as a threat to civilization. If the Muslim Brotherhood take Egypt, it destabilizes the entire Middle East. It sets the Middle East on fire. The police and military cannot overcome the Muslim Brotherhood there in Egypt. It's really become like the mothership for jihadists throughout the Middle East. Or is it the benign social movement its leaders claim? In Egypt and in the Arab world, we are the only genuine democratic movement or group. The Brotherhood has remained a non-violent uh, opposition movement within a violent state. Founded in Egypt in 1928 by Hassan al-Banna, the movement's goal was to spread Islam across an empire stretching from Spain to Indonesia. And their message of Islam is the solution caught on. It started as a social movement and as a movement to bring moral values and the good characters in the society. And then later on, after almost 10 years, then they began to interfere in politics. But politics in those days was a bloody affair. In 1946, they started uh, conducting several armed operations uh, against the British targets. In 1948, they assassinated the uh, Prime Minister of Egypt, Mahmoud Amin al Rashi. By February 1949, the, uh, Hassan al-Banna, the head of the brothers, was assassinated in, in retaliation. The Brotherhood fought back. They backed a military coup in 1952. The man uh, of the Muslim brothers in the uh, army was uh, a colonel, and he was the officer that uh, convinced, between quotations, the, uh, the king to step down. It was a coup. The Brotherhood tried to assassinate Gamal Abdel Nasser in 1954. The movement was banned and thousands of members were thrown in jail and tortured. Mubarak treated them no better until eventually the Brotherhood renounced violence and concentrated on social services and infrastructure. The Brotherhood has spawned countless splinter groups from Al Jama'a Al Islamiyya in Libya to Hamas in Palestine and Jordan. They have influence from Algeria to Yemen, Syria to Sudan. I hope you will believe that the Muslim Brotherhood are spreading in 80 countries. As individuals, we have everywhere in the world. The politics of the Muslim Brotherhood is pragmatic and constantly evolving. The ideology does not determine their behavior whatsoever. It's a pragmatic group. The Muslim Brothers in Algeria, for example, sided with the uh, military, with the coup plotters against another Islamist party. The Muslim Brothers in Kuwait, uh, until uh, five years ago, they were really opposing the uh, women's suffrage, the women's right to vote. At the same time, the Muslim Brothers of Egypt were fielding female candidates uh, for MP. The Muslim Brothers in Iraq, for example, supported the intervention, the uh, coalition intervention in, uh, in Iraq. The Muslim Brothers in Egypt, they opposed it. Even the, the red lines, if we wish, the ideological red lines, get compromised when the, when the setting is right, when the context uh, is right. Even the Brotherhood's attitude to Israel has changed over the years. We do not recognize Israel, but we will not fight them. We do not have anything to do with them. We have nothing to do with the Palestinian internal politics. My concern is the greater Islamic cause. But when the revolution did finally come to Egypt, the Brotherhood was nowhere to be seen. The Brotherhood was late, you know, coming in. The youth were from day one, even before day one. But the leader took a decision after one or two days to participate fully. When things really got nasty, it was the Brotherhood that brought a sense of organization and how to respond. When the goons came in, they played a role. On the day of the battle of the camel and the horses, it was the Muslim Brotherhood members who managed it to protect them from more attacks. Will their conservative, Islamist principles garner them the popular support necessary in a newly democratic region? 
Will their ideology gain power in other newly liberated lands? Or will the younger generation, clamoring for reform, want to change the very nature of the Brotherhood? You have a lot of young people say, look, what I'm concerned about is not necessarily becoming a Muslim Brother. I'm concerned about economic change. I'm concerned about a greater future. I'm concerned about freedoms. 